So this book is the Star Wars sketchbook, which has the original drawings for the greatest space fantasy ever made. Not that they're biased or anything. So this is all black and white. So what they do is they'll say something like Imperial Star Destroyer, and then the next page they'll show the sketch. A Rebel Blockade Runner, and the sketch. So there's a lot of wasted space in here. But I really appreciate that these guys, as compared to some of the other books I have, actually did nice full page sketches that don't get sucked into the binding by trying to do it across two pages, which drives me crazy. So with this one, you get to be able to see it. You get to see it at a nice size so that if you're trying to draw these kinds of things, then you can really see the details in there. Or if you just want to appreciate the art of the uh, people who created these. And they do have little descriptions in here, like in this case of the what the different pages are showing you. So this is about the Death Star. And what the different sections of it look like. So all of the mock-up sketches. You know, back in these days, they didn't really have a lot of computer software to help them. So there were people sitting there with rulers and pencils and sitting there measuring out things and designing things on pieces of paper. So a lot of credit to people who were doing that kind of work. Millennium Falcon. You know, all the little notes about how the different parts of the Falcon work. How they should lay out what people would look like when they're working around the different things and the dimensions. And he says, obsolete, obsolete. <laughs> you don't know. And the gun ports for the climactic battle scenes. So lots of cool things. And they have little notes like the rebel forces were not financially way off. The ships were conceived, conceivably acquired decades earlier at a discount. So they're making notes about things to keep in mind while they're sketching it. And the Y-wing fighters. So it's a lot of fun to see the early sketches. And again, I like the way that they laid out. This is the way art books generally should be laid out with a full image per page to maximize a page, but without it going into the binding to let you lose pieces of information. So that is the Star Wars sketchbook.